Good day everyone, you're watching Raytube. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to uh, install a VLC media player on your Windows 10 machine. Now let's get started. In order to download Windows uh, VLC player on your Windows 10 machine, uh, you can go to google.com from any of the browser and in the search box, you can go ahead and type VLC media player. And the first link what you will see is uh, the official uh, link to download Windows Media Player. So you, uh, go ahead and click on that. And for the verification purpose, uh, you can check this link as well, which has got this which is a secured site. Click on this link, and it will take you to a VLC uh, Video LAN uh, organization that is VLC Media Player website. Now on the right hand side, you will see a download VLC option. Now from the drop down you can select um, any of the operating system which you are using. If you are using Windows Phone you can select Windows Phone. If you are downloading it on your Windows Phone device or if it is a Mac you can install uh, select Macs. In our case I am going to select Windows and it is going to download uh, VLC player on my computer screen here. So it is going to take a while. Let us wait. So we have about uh, 12 seconds to complete the download. Um, it's going to complete the download in a moment. Okay, now the VLC player has been downloaded successfully on my computer. In order to run that, you can double click on this file on the download section. And if you have any, any antivirus, you will run a scan to check if it is a safe. In my case, I have McAfee installed. So I'm going to open this uh, executable file, which is an exec file, and I'm going to get click on yes if you get a user access control prompt. And now it is uh, unpacking the VLC player on my Windows 10 machine. And you can this is where you can go ahead and select the language. Uh, so in, in my case, it would be English. So if you're using if you're downloading it on a different country and using a different language, you can select a different language from the drop down list. I'm going to select English here. Click on OK. Click on next. Uh, these are the simple steps which you need to follow. And this is the end user license agreement. Uh, you may go through this end user license agreement if you want to look, uh, look into it. Click on next and let these option or the checkboxes be as it is. Uh, in case if you want to go ahead and customize it, you can go ahead and customize it by unchecking it or selecting this option. So I'm going to keep this uh, default option as it is. I'm not going to make any changes. I'm going to click on next. And this is the location where it is going to install uh, my VLC player on my computer. In case if you want to install it on a different drive, you can click on browse and uh, install it on a, a different drive or a different uh, folder. So in my case, I'm going to keep it as it is. It is program files x86 video lan slash VLC and I'm going to click on install. So now it is installing a VLC player on my computer. So if you want, you can click on show details to look at how the um, uh, file transaction um, works when you install a Windows a VLC player on Windows 10 machine. So uh, so now it looks like the installation is complete now. If you want to run the VLC player for the first time, you can keep this box checked and uh, click on finish. So if I when I click on finish, um, you would see a Windows Media a VLC player running on my computer screen. So the first time um, you would get this prompt, which says privacy and network access policies. You can um, uh, if you can keep this box checked in case if you are worried about your privacy. There's nothing that uh, VLC player is going to steal any information. You can uncheck this box and if you want to install VLC player or install the updates regularly, you can keep this box checked. I'm going to click on continue. So this is how the VLC media player look. And I'm going to also walk you through how to pin this VLC media player on the taskbar. All you have to do is you have to do a right click on this on the taskbar and uh, click on the pin to taskbar option. Okay, so this is how you can go ahead and uh, create a shortcut icon on your taskbar on your Windows 10 machine. Uh, thank you for watching this video. May, uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. You have a great day and have a great day guys.